In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down some weekend league gameplay in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, I am running my trips tight end offensive scheme. Um, if you wanna get my trips tight end offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just 10 bucks. And on defense, I'm gonna be running the uh, nickel 335 wide. It's my favorite defense in the entire game. I believe it's the best defense in the entire game. And if you wanna get that guide, um, it is also gonna be linked down in the description. Now, uh, starting off here, I'm just gonna kinda of try to keep it simple. Um, one of the most important things that I could tell you about running a trips tight end offense is it's really, really important important um to not try to hurry yourself because you can't whenever you try to flip a play from trips tight end it's not as easy to do that um as it could be from some other uh different types of passing uh concepts and plays here so like right here i'm just gonna step up in the pocket uh take a sack it's not you know don't don't think all is lost um whenever you take a sack or whenever you have something that goes wrong now, uh, my opponent is appearing that he wants to run a lot of cover three style of zone coverage. Um, and so this is something that the tight, the, the trips tight end is actually relatively uh, equipped to deal with really well. It's really uh, equipped well to handle zone coverages, especially just kind of simple spacing. One of the things that I realized as I've been preparing for this video as I've been kind of labbing this offense this week heading into weekend league um, is I realized just how much I really do enjoy uh, running the trips tight end. The trips tight end is such a smooth offense. The spacing is absolutely incredible and if you can pair that with really good pocket presence you can do a lot of really really good things. So that's kind of like what my focal point is here. If I'm going to try to force my opponent to hard flat right there. He actually made a couple of good adjustments. He's going to get a bring up a fourth down in situation but um, you're noticing that he's running a lot of cover three style defense i've been kind of just running some standard uh routes out of this out of this little formation here now because we're in a fourth down situation i'm actually going to go with this little concept right here uh, from this this is a little bit of a a little bit of a different style of adjustment this is primarily because of the fact that he's not running um hard flats over there on that left side so this little quick out right there is super glitchy super effective if they're not running hard flats which my opponent hasn't really been running that for the entire game so far um you can easily work these little quick outs and things like that you'll see that i'll go to those in certain situations just to kind of you know just to kind of further drive home the point that you know you you have to kind of take what the defense gives you now right here uh we actually messed up we came out in the wrong um you, you really want to make sure, this is where I talked about this a little bit earlier, you don't really want to go no huddle unless you have to, when, especially when you're running trips tight end. Um, it's really, really important to go to the huddle, gather yourself a little bit. And the biggest reason why that's so critical um, is simply just because of the fact that you want to force your opponent to have to kind of, um, you know, prepare for everything. So anyways, right here, uh, looks like you shifted, went to man coverage. One of the other things that's really cool about the trips tight end offense um, is how easily you can tell whether or not it's man or zone. Like you can pretty much tell, like I can tell right now, it is probably going to be zone coverage, at least based off of the, based off of the way that my opponent is coming out out here um, it is appearing that it's going to be zone coverage so you know then in that situation i could go to more of a zone beating type of setup right a little quick some underneath type of routes here uh, stepping up in the pocket a little bit just kind of scramble take a couple yards and get down um, so anyways that's just something that's really important if you watch these corners you see here that you know if that left side corner you've got two corners on the left side it's likely going to be uh, zone coverage not always going to be zone coverage but most of the time um, it certainly will so here we're going to go to x spot again um, just a nice little zone spacing concept here um, and we're going to take our little post route over the middle that's really one of the best routes in the entire game it's such a smooth little post route gets in such a nice little unique position now, when I go in down into the five yard line, I actually really like to shift into, I'm actually running the Raiders book. I normally, whenever I run trips tight end, I normally like to run the, um, the, the Patriots book. 
but I just happened to have the the Raiders book when I loaded into this, so it is what it is. But I really like to shift down. You know, when I come down to the five yard line, I do have some red zone dots, some red zone things, and we talk about that in the ebook a little bit. But I just like to kind of see if he if he's prepared uh, for this this specific type of running set here. Uh, I really like to try to just get the ball. You know, just trying to be very simple. Uh, another play that I like to go to is this. 01 trap if I can find it and the power uh, right there so again just depending on kind of what my uh, opponent is doing uh, is going to kind of determine a lot about what I'm going to do now right here just based on kind of the defense that he was coming out in this dive alert bubble is typically actually pretty successful um, unless he does what he just did there which is really good run defense and that's going to put me in a third down and short situation so I'm going to have to go back to the air here and a lot of different options, uh, a lot of different options that you can do. One of my favorite plays, though, to run in the red zone is this little drive post play. You see that it kind of has this nice little natural wraparound of both of these players. Um, so we're going to do a little motion slant here, and then we're going to do a little wheel route to the running back. Um, and then we're just going to kind of quickly read this left side, see. And I probably missed some reads right there, but we're just going to eat it and take our sack. I think, you know, I probably missed a couple reads. I probably had a touchdown, but good defense by my opponent. Uh, the read that I was looking for wasn't there, and that was just a little bit. Part of the challenge whenever you're running an offense, like, like for example, this is really only my third day in a row um, kind of running this trip side in offensive scheme. Um, but I've just been kind of really enjoying it. It's been just kind of something that's, you know, fun and also effective at the same time. But um, sometimes you miss reads because you don't have the reps. And that's why, you know, I talk about super, super important to simplify and just kind of be able to be aware and knowing what you're going to do when you, before you do it. So anyways, all that to say, uh, I'm going to be setting up my defense here now. Uh, you're going to see that I'm going to run a lot of nickel uh, 335 wide. I'm either going to run cover four show two or Mike blitz three pretty much every play uh, now right here I don't have my uh, guys all set up this is a little quick tip we've talked about this before on this channel but like as you're going through your setup and everything if it gets down to zero just pause it and then hit the circle button it's gonna you see here it's gonna give me an additional 15 seconds which you know is actually really uh, you know kind of a big deal so anyways, uh, just trying to kind of get my, my guys all set up. I don't think I, I was able to do it, but we're going to kind of start with a little Mike Blitz 3 uh, action here, maybe. Yep, little Mike Blitz 3 here. And the reason that I like Mike Blitz 3 is I think it's just one of the most simple but most effective defenses in the entire game. So as you see here, I have Grant Delpit. I need to shift him. So I need to get Mike Evans back here. And then I've got DK Metcalf. And then there we go. I've got Grant Delpit right there. So that's, that's kind of what my defensive squad is looking like. Uh, now he's going to go to Trey Rye Flex. This is where uh, I would I, I typically will be running, you know, this kind of defense against this. Um, let's see. He does gonna, he's going to go to that out route. And that's okay. We're going to give that up. And actually, he didn't complete it. But really defensively, if it's basically kind of my rule of thumb, um, that I've actually been testing out lately. I've been just coming back. I can't stop coming back to the match defense, guys. I just, I really do feel like it is the best way to play this game. These these match style defenses. And so I'm actually using a little bit of one on right there. That's just bad user. I got to get that interception. But what I keep coming back to is against cover, or I apologize, against two by two formations. So like what you're seeing I'm facing right here. You know, against something like this, that's like a two by two formation. Um, go ahead and run this little cover three Mike Blitz three style of defense. Um, it's really hard to kind of glitch out. And there you see. The other thing that I'm going to come, I'm going to come back to that point in just a second. And then if it's a three by one, like a trips tight in or a bunch tight in or something like that, then I'll I'll typically work out of the quarters defense. And the primary reason for that is just for the simple. Um, just for the simp simple spacing, uh, or I apologize, simple uh, route rerouting that we can do out of those out of those formations. So anyway, uh, right here, I'm going to go to just kind of a simple little formation or simple little play here out of the drive post. Um, this is just kind of something that's designed really just to kind of you know force force him to have to you know respect that a little bit. He's kind of sticking with the cover three, so I'm actually going to probably shift to this doubles in sale route. Um, this route is one of my favorite routes for cover three, and we're just going to kind of do this little concept right here. 
I'm just looking for that circle receiver uh, to do exactly what he did right there, get it some nice separation. Unfortunately, we end up in this. This kind of the pain I've I've felt with uh, RG three. But anyway, third and ten. Uh, so we got a situation here um, because he's running so much cover three. I am going to um, just simply do this. Um, this is one of my favorite cover three beaters out of this formation because you see there that safety did come over, which is nice uh, for my opponent. But we're going to just easily just take this out route. Um, one of the things that's super important whenever you're running trips tight end. Now, I'm not going to risk kicking that field goal. Although it's probably a decent decision to kick that, but I, I'm just not very good on special teams, so I'm gonna go for this. But what I'm gonna do right here is, again, we're just talking. We've talked a little bit about this already, but this idea of we want to force our opponent just to have to respect these quick reads, and if he's not gonna hard flat on both sides, we're gonna work these little corner routes, these little quick out routes right here. Um, this is kind of my cover three beater that I go to from time to time if they're running a lot of if i notice they're just kind of sitting in stock cover three then i'll go to this play right here and here we are again in the red zone uh this time we got a little bit more room to maneuver so we're going to see if we can't um see if we can't just keep keep it simple here now what i like to do on this is i really like to just put this circle receiver on the little in route um just kind of take it you know take it easy get a block here try to juke them out and that's a decent route so now we've got the ball on the four yard line. We've got about 35 seconds left in the half. Now you have to remember that again, we talked a little bit about this before, but he, is, he does get the ball. Uh, he does get the ball at halftime. Uh, that's something that's really important to like remind yourself of. He gets the ball at halftime. So me getting uh, seven here is actually really important. So I'm going to come out an I-form wing, just kind of do some flipping and some changing of things just to try to kind of force uh, his hand a little bit. Go to big Derrick Henry, and right there, he actually defended that pretty good. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to come out in the stretch and kind of see what he does. So he he's not in goal line. You've got to think fullback dive is going to work. Here we're going to do a little bit of a playmaker trick um, and just try to Basically try to go to the right this time and just see what we can do. Uh, heavy trucking. And then now we're going to use our timeout. So now we've got all this time. Um, all the all the time has kind of gone down. And so now, you know, again, we're going to be in a position where we can, you know, hopefully pound this in for pound this in for uh, six. But really, you know, it all starts with this idea of what you want to do is you want to have a tight end out there. So you see I've got I've got three tight ends, right? One of them has an ability on him. So if, you know, if he's if he's doing, you know, kind of what he's doing, um, I could easily shift on one of these plays into a little play action play uh, and try to kind of try to kind of hit that. Now, based off of his numbers and stuff, he's actually in a pretty balanced position here. But if you notice, his user is shifted just a little bit to that right. So I'm going to go left side here, just try to hit it. Uh, and there we go. We're able to get in for a touchdown. So that's actually a big touchdown. That puts us up by two possessions. Whenever you're playing somebody in weekend league or you're playing anybody that you're like really seriously trying to win the game, you have to think about the possession battle. You have to think about the clock. All of those things kind of play into this and how we're going to want to do this. So defensively, I'm going to shift, you know, a little bit when he comes back out. I'm probably going to stay with my same defense because it played pretty well based off what his, you know, based off of what his strategy was. But I'm also going to be aware, be aware enough to say, OK, there might be a situation where I might want to shift into some other style. Maybe I want to play some zone drop defense. Maybe I want to play some man defense. Right. Maybe I want to blitz a little bit, you know, just depending on the situation. So, you know, we're going to probably um, probably going to hang back in this little cover three. Uh, cover three match if he's in two by two or cover four if he's in three by one but cover or not cover three match but i mean it's basically that it's it's mike blitz three which it does play similarly to the cover three match as long as you put the right adjustments out there we'll see what happens here we know that our primary responsibility is going to be to be deep but we'll see looks like he's taking his time setting up a formation or something okay so here so you see he comes out in this strong y off whenever i see something like this i just automatically shift over to this uh big nickel and the biggest reason why um is because i just want to like I, I i don't know of very many routes that can get open 
um, against something like this, uh, against like a cover two man with a deep with a deep inside third, as long as you're shading coverage up. And so that's kind of what we'll do, depending on what he does. Now, see here, he shifts back, comes out in the gun tray by flex. So we're going to shift back and come out into uh, our cover four quarter defense. So here we go. We'll tight end drag, little crosser. And right here, if we can get down, we can try to get a field goal here. Now, again, I'm a terrible kicker and I don't have like the best kicker. That's another thing that's really important. Like if you're going to go into something like a weekend league or something like this, I think it's super, super important. Of course, I'm going to shoot it low and it's probably not going to make it. But I think it's really, really important. Um, did I get that? Nope, I didn't. Um, I think it's really, really important to have a good kicker, right? And and I haven't, I have, just don't have, I don't have the coins to get the best kicker in the in the game right now. So that's that's been kind of a, a thorn in the flesh because I should have thirteen. It should be thirteen to zero right now, but unfortunately, you know, because of what happened, then it's it's only ten to nothing. So, anyways, but hopefully you're seeing uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about from a defensive perspective. Um, I was talking about uh, cover three versus cover four. So um, if you've ever faced someone that is running a uh, bunch or trips or something like that, cover four quarters typically is pretty sound against it. There's a couple of things, a couple little bugs and glitches. And we talk about that in our defensive guide, kind of share with you how to walk, how to kind of get through that. But all in all, it's typically a pretty solid little defense, right? Um, but against two by two, like a gun spread, I actually uh, learned this from a friend of mine that I was playing. Um, but basically what happened was he was running cover three match and I could not beat it. Like literally it is like no matter what I did, I, I just couldn't get anything open. And uh, it's this cover three match against two by two is actually pretty effective as long as you can stop the run, as long as you can stop a couple of the little things here and there. But pretty much cover three match is going to be kind of my main defense um, that I'm going to want to run if if they're in something, you know, that I can justify it. So something like this right here where they're in a little bit more of a balanced set. There's a nice little run run fit shoot from Sean Taylor. I got the brand new Sean Taylor just in time for weekend league. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm running a 25 out of 25 um, 49er and 25, uh, oh gosh, uh, 25 49ers and 25 Washington football team. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm rocking here in this video. And he's going to throw me a nice little pick right over the middle. Didn't miss the interception that time. And now we're in a pretty good position. And so far you're seeing this defense is really, really good. Um, I've got three or four different styles to this three, three, five wide defense. Actually, I guess I got five, um, five key, uh, different defenses basically so we've got match defense we've got quarter defense we've got run or um i apologize uh, zone drop defense and then we've got uh, blitzing defenses and obviously we have run defenses so we've got kind of different defenses for different types of situations um, that we're going to be in right here we're just going to take the easy read now kind of based off the way the defense is playing a little bit we're not like in a super um we're not in like a do or die situation. Obviously we want to score six here, but we're not in a, situ a situation just yet where it's like super critical that we score six, right? Um, we can kind of deal with three. So we're going to be a little bit safer here. Um, maybe block the running back a little bit more than we normally would. Uh, here we're going to go to this corner in the back of the end zone, try to get our swerve catch on. Didn't end up working out for us, unfortunately. And that's going to bring up a third and four. I feel like Robert Griffith III is a good quarterback, but I still find myself missing uh, Brett Favre a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go PA counter go here. And I actually have a little bit of a different way of running this setup at this point. Um, one of the things I really like to do is just a simple little post drag kind of combination off of the play action. Um, and what you're going to see here, there's exactly what happened. You see that user just drop down and it leaves the crosser open, and that's going to give us a three-possession lead. That's why I talked about the touchdown being a little bit more important because if we took a field goal, we'd still only be up by two possessions. Here we go by three possessions with uh, only six minutes left to go. He's going to go ahead and quit out. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get the exact offense and defense that I ran in this video, you can get them in the description.